Hello viewers, I welcome you to part two of our sneakers tutorial. Um, this is the last we are going to use for this project. Though I'm supposed to shape the flat a bit, but because I'm going to be using it for all that design, I won't do that. So I'm still going to use this flat to achieve uh, this project. So stick around and see how we're going to get this whole thing done. So the next um, part is to draw our pattern. And then after drawing our pattern, we are going to we're going to cut it out and develop it. So you can see I have gotten all the lines. If you want to know how I got all these lines, the vamp line and um, all this line, um, you can check my video list that is there. So I'm going to start by So all we're going to be making is a very simple, just a very simple sneakers. So we don't need much design. Just making a simple sneakers. Don't want to give it much design, just simple one, two part design. That's all. So. so with this, I think um, we are done with this. This is just what it will look like. So. So the next step of me, I'm going to first is to cut it out and then develop the pattern. So stick around as we go through that also. So now you can see the pattern I have cut it out and then I have placed it on a cardboard. You can see it now. So I'm going to I'm going to add the last one allowance. And after that we are going to spring the vamp. And then the, we develop the pattern. So I'm going 
to the uh, then <coughs> let's see. <coughs> I'm going to be adding extra <coughs> two centimeters for the last and other ones. Two centimeter, another one. So um, the next thing I'm going to spring the ramp and then to develop the pattern. That is the next step. And um, I'm going to add also two centimeter here for the last one allowance, uh, swing allowance, sorry. Let's, uh, let me add one centimeter for the strain allowance. So let me cut it out now and then bring the ramp. Then I'll develop this pattern to 3D and then we are done with the pattern. I still have a ramp line. This is our ramp line here.
So now if I bring it around, you can see it's already short. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is mark out the path of the So you can see the next step is to develop this pattern to 3D pattern and then we are done with the pattern making. So I, you can see I just placed this one on the cardboard and then I mark out this part. So this is it here, you're seeing. This is where I'm going to use as a raw file to mark out this pattern. So this one is going to be single because I'm going to use this to get this side and the other side of the pattern. So and I was also able to place this one here and then mark it out again, mark it out. Then fold the two cardboard into two. And I'm going to cut it out also. So I'm done with cutting the pattern. You can see it. This arrow shows me where it's going to come in. That is the part of the pattern that is going to come this way, around this area. Now, this has to come here. I don't have to stress myself cutting this one two times. I just turn it this way, it becomes this side. If I turn it this way, it becomes here. So that is that on the pattern making. Uh, do well to subscribe and also hit the bell icon if you have not to join us in the part three where we are going to be using this raw file to create um, the pattern so thank you for watching see you on the part three of this video thank you and see you next time